Our topic today is slopes of lines, and our goal is that hopefully by the end of this lesson you can say, I can compare the slopes of lines and tell which lines are steeper and which lines have a positive or negative slope. So we're going to start by looking at these two uh, lines, the red one and the blue one. Uh, I'm going to call the red one line number one and the blue one line number two. Our question says, which of the two lines are steeper? Find their slopes. What do you notice? Uh, well, hopefully you can look at them and see that the blue line is actually steeper. And we're going to find the slopes, so I'm going to take a look at the red line first. There's a point there, and there's a point there. And if you notice, when we count the rise and the run, the rise is only one. So the slope of line number one has a rise of one. Now the run is one, two, three, four, five. So it has a run of five. If we put in this little triangle that we're used to drawing in there, it has a run of five. So the slope is 0 0.2. Next we're gonna find the slope of line two, which is the blue line. And let's find a dot that's right, a point that's right there and then there's one here. And as I travel from one of those points to the other, you notice we have a rise of one and a run of one, two. So the slope of that line has a rise of one and a run of two, which means that it is 0 0.5. So notice that this blue line that we decided was steeper has a larger slope. And this slope, not quite as large. So that's the main thing that I want you to notice is that the steeper the line, the larger the number will be for the slope. Okay, moving right along, we have a different pair of lines here. And this one asks us the question, what is the main difference between the two lines? Well, hopefully you can tell they're going in opposite directions. This one, as we look left to right, is going down. And this one, as we look left to right, is going up. And we always look left to right on a graph. That's the way you read left to right. So that's the way you read a graph, left to right. So this one looks like it's going down, and this one looks like it's going up. So let's calculate the slope. Uh, here's a point. And here's another one down here. So if I were to draw in my right triangle, there's my rise and there's my run. So I have a rise of two, however, it's not really rising at all, it's going down as I move from left to right. So on this line, and we'll call the green line line one, the rise is negative two, and the run is one, two, three, four, five. So we've got a run of five. So negative two fifths, which is negative 0.4. Now let's have a look at line two. That was line one. We're going to look at line two. Line two, let's find some dots on here. There's one. And that looks like one. So we'll draw in our little right triangle again. Or imagine our little right triangle. And this has a rise of one, two, and it's definitely going up this time. As I look from left to right, it's going up. So the rise is, is two. And one, two, three, four, five is the run. So it has a slope of 0 0.4. So what this looks like is that we got the same number both time because they had the same rise and the same run, except that this run was negative and this run, or sorry, this rise was negative and this rise was positive. So it looks like the line that slopes down gives us a negative value And the line that slopes up gave us the positive value. So as you look from left to right, if a line goes up, the slope is positive. Down, the slope is negative. Carrying on, what kinds of lines are these? Uh, hopefully you can look at them and see that those two lines are never going to cross because they're kind of going in the same direction on the same angle, so they're never going to cross, which makes them parallel lines. Parallel 
parallel lines. Now we're going to calculate the slope and see what we notice. Well, here's a dot here, and here's a dot here, so I'm going to count the rise and the run. So we have a rise, as I go from one to the other, we have a rise of one, two, three, four, five, six, and a run of one, two. So for the first line, it has a rise of six and a run of two, which makes that three for the slope. Six divided by two is three. So looking at the second line, uh, let's see, here. there's a dot there, and let's see, there's a dot there. So let's count the rise and the run. So we're going to go straight up and then over to count the rise and the run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the rise is nine. And the run is one, two, three. Nine over three, which means it has a slope of three as well. So that means that for parallel lines, they have slopes that are equal. Okay. And we could have actually on this line, we didn't have to make quite so big a right triangle. I could have found this point here. Or I could have found this point here. It doesn't matter which two points you use. So now let's put our newfound knowledge to the test here. Example one says for the following line, state whether the slopes are positive or negative or zero. Well, this one, as I look from left to right, see my pen goes down. So this one has a negative slope. Let's do all of the graphs first. This one, as I go from left to right, doesn't do anything. There's, it's not going up, it's not going down. That must mean that this is the zero. All horizontal lines have a slope of zero. And then if we look at this one, as I go from left to right, and always from left to right, you start at the leftmost point, go to the rightmost point. That goes up, which means that it has a positive slope. Now let's take a look at the equations. Uh, in the last lesson, we learned that this number in front of the x was our slope, and this number all by itself was the y-intercept. And so we're looking at this number here for our slope, and since it is positive, that means that we have a positive slope. If we go over here, here's our x this time, so it's this number we're looking for. And notice it has a negative in front of it, so this slope is negative. And over here, we don't have an x at all, so that must mean we had like plus 0x on the end, because 0 times anything gives us 0. So if we don't have that x value at all, then that must mean that we had a slope of 0. Okay, carrying on. Example 2, compared to y equals 3x minus 6, okay, let's have a look at that. That's slope, remember, whatever goes with the x is our slope. Write the equation of a line that is steeper. Okay, and it, that can be any line, I just need a bigger number there. So y equals, if it's steeper, that number's bigger. So I'm going to say 5x plus 7. doesn't matter where it crosses the y-axis, as long as the slope is a bigger number than this one. Uh, less steep means that I need a smaller number than 3. So I'm going to say y equals, and it doesn't matter, smaller number, I'm going to say 0.5x uh, plus 11. Of equal steepness means that we want something that's parallel to that. So if it's of equal steepness, it must have the same number in front. So let's say y equals 3x and plus 2. I'm not going to use minus 6 because that would be exactly the same line, so they wouldn't be parallel, they'd just be the same line. And the last one, we want something that is of the same steepness, but going in the opposite direction. So we need something that has a 3 there, but to make it go in the opposite direction, which means that we want to go, like this one is positive, so it's going up, 
I need it to go down, so we need something with a negative. So negative 3x, and it doesn't matter what the y-intercept is, I'm just going to leave it off, which would be a plus 0. But we don't need the plus 0 there. This is just y equals 3x. Next. The, oh, where did it go? There it is. Okay, example three. Each of the following table of values represents a line. Determine if the lines in the tables are parallel or not. So we need to figure out if they have the same slope. So we got to remember how to get slope from a table, which we learned last class too. We have to figure out the change in the y's and the change in the x's. So we got to make some subtractions here. 12 subtract 14 is negative 2. 10 subtract 12 is negative 2. 8 subtract 10 is negative 2, and 6 subtract 8 is negative 2. So the change in the y's is negative 2. Now the x's aren't, don't go up by 1, so we have to take a look at them too. So from negative 6 to negative 3, that's going up 3. From negative 3 to 0, that's going up 3 as well. And it looks like these other two are going up 3. So the change in the x's is a positive 3. So this looks like our slope is negative 2 thirds, or if we want to change that into a decimal, we can. Negative 2 thirds is negative 0 0.67, approximately. Now, let's have a look over here. We've got to figure out whether this has the same slope or not, because we want to know whether the lines are parallel, and parallel means same slope. So, 0, 4 to 0, means we've gone down 4. 0 to negative 4 means we've gone down 4. Negative 4 to negative 8, we've gone down 4. And negative 8 to negative 12, we've gone down 4. Over here, we're going up, looks like we're going up by 6 every time. Those are 6 times tables there. So 6, 6, 6, and 6. The change in the y's in the table was negative 4. That's this row of numbers is the change in the y's is negative 4. The change in the x's is 6. And at first glance that doesn't look the same as what we got over here at negative 2 thirds. But if I reduce to lowest terms I can take a 2 out of the top and make it negative 2 and a 2 out of the bottom and make it 3. Or if you just want to pull out your calculator and make the division you'll see that that is approximately negative 0.67. So since the slopes are the same The lines are parallel. And that concludes this lesson.